Hi guys, it's Rob here from GamePit.co.uk and I just thought I would do a quick video on Vampire or Vampire, however you pronounce it. Basically today they've just updated the game on the PlayStation 5 so it's now got a PS5 patch. So according to the notes it runs at 1440p and 30fps on a PS4 Pro and 1440p and 60fps on a PlayStation 5. So the update was about 800 megabytes. I've literally just reinstalled the game. I've got no save file on here. So I thought I'd just start the game again from the beginning. Probably play about half an hour or so. Give my impressions of what it's like playing the game finally at a, at a decent frame rate. And um, let's just jump straight in and have a look. And also just to let you know, this video has been recorded at 4K and 60fps via the PS5. So it should give the best visual quality impression of what the game is like. Uh, just make sure that if you're watching this on YouTube, then you set the output resolution to either 1440p or 4K. Um, then there's no compression and it will look better. But anyway, let's jump straight in. So like I said, there's no save file, so I'm just going to pop one down here. I have a look through the options, there's nothing there. I've just inverted the um, Y-axis. Um, there's nothing for the visuals, so... So story mode is the new mode that was added shortly after release, which makes it really easy. Uh, normal mode was the normal version, and hard mode obviously makes it harder. I'm just going to do it on normal mode because that's the mode I played it on when I reviewed the game uh, as the first ever review on my website, yeah. which as I said was gamepit.co.uk. So it is a full review over there, but I am going to be doing a update review based on the new patch. If you've not played this, dreams oh. for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? But lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its Okay, so I think it's going to be a bit quiet now, so I'll be able to talk. Um, as I was saying before, if you've not played this game yet, um, obviously it's Halloween season now, so it's a great time to pick it up and play it. I really love this game. It's uh, by Don't Nod, and it's um, a mix of exploration, adventure, uh, RPG, and um, story storytelling. So, obviously, you're this guy, I can't remember his name, I think it's Edward or something, but we'll find out in a minute. 
and you've awoken a vampire and you need to find out why and um, if you can stop a curse and also save the town from being overrun by the other vampires but there is a load of moral choices so you can pick to either become a vampire and succumb to the, the, the hunger or you can save people and that all changes the dynamic of the game and the story but this is the first um, major plot point of this game right now so we're about to suck the blood Jonathan, that's the one The blood of our sister. Oh dear. Uh. Hold on. Please hold on. Yeah, it's too late, mate. I'll tell you what, it is so smooth, this game. The 60 FPS is working great so far. See how well it runs when it, the game gets into heavy action. <clears throat> So his first victim just happened to be his sister. Oh dear. Tell you what, as well, on a 4K TV, the game looks pretty good as well. It used to be only 1080p, I think. Now it's 1440p. So they've made it a lot clearer. No! Please! I'm and I said, this is on the PS5 as well, so it's 60 FPS. Nope. All right, here we go. First bit of gameplay. These patrols are after me. No shit, mate. Right, how do we run? There's no button for run. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. This is a nightmare. It's been so long since I played the game. It must be at least a couple of years. Of yes, I know you do, mate, but I can't remember what button runs. Oh, there we go. Does that run? This can't be there we go. You hold down circle for some reason. No, please stop. I mean you no harm. When I originally played this game, I played it all the way through as a pacifist and didn't kill anyone that I didn't need to. Um, but I never went back and played the version of the game where you have to kill everyone. So, thankfully, I've got a reason to replay the game now with it at this new smooth resolution and frame rate. Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Oh, I'm gonna love going back and playing this game all over again. Who are you, stupid beast? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've just killed you. Let's see if we can just get past these guys. I know I'm not doing too well, but <laughs> I'll get used to the controls um, shortly. I've just come from playing Tales of Arise, so I'm used to that um, controller setup at the moment. Oh dear, no bullets. Listen to me. Please, I, I don't want to kill you, but I will. Beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Ah, ah, in oh, it's the sun. Get in. Get inside. Quick, before you burn. Just, just leave me. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh. 
I only found out about a year later as well that it's the same voice as the main guy from Call of Cthulhu, which was also published by Focus Home. Let me go! Ow, you cock. Which way am I supposed to go? This way? No. Let's just, can we just kill him? Yeah, we can. There you go. I never understood why they added to be easy mode to this game, because it wasn't that difficult to begin with. It does have like a Souls-like combat, but it's not anywhere near as difficult as it sounds. So I never understood that. And it, obviously adding the easy mode made the game really easy. I suppose it's for people who want to enjoy uh, the game without any challenge. I should be safe enough here. Because uh, obviously it is, but like I said it's by Don't Nod. So they're well known for their narrative adventure games, not like the Life is Strange series. So I suppose people picking up this game might have expected to see more of the same, rather than it being heavy on the action. All right, so we've broken into someone's house. Yeah, why do you remember that? That just literally happened about five minutes ago, if that. What have you done? Uh, sorry, Mary. I killed you. Mary. Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. There we go, and that's our reason for why we want to stop the vampires rather than embrace being a vampire. Uh. Okay. I think that's our pocket watch, if I remember correctly. Wait, this one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Yeah, so that dead person on the floor stole That's our watch. Impossible. But I don't know how he died. Because he's got no face. Well, he's got a face, but it's in shock and he's dead. And I didn't kill him, so I don't know who killed him. That light fitting theme seems very low as well. Oh well. Alright, let's go upstairs to the bed. I've not added any ray tracing, I see. Then again, I'm a vampire, aren't I? so there shouldn't be any reflection. So I don't need ray tracing. Who goes there? Who's there? Are you referring to me? Okay, so that's a person no. who turned us into a vampire. No, I still have so much to accomplish. Well, you can still do it, just undead. I still have so much left that needs doing. See, he's got a reflection. I don't know why he's got a reflection, unless he's only. No, I'm pretty sure he's a full vampire, so he shouldn't have a reflection. There's a dead guy there. Hello. Or is he a thief? Overdosed on morphine. Yeah, I think he's dead, mate. I suppose he could suck his blood, because it won't matter now. Unless he can't suck the blood of a dead person. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. 
He looks a bit satanic back then as well when he was actually normal. Huh. No, it never got easy. Right, let's put an end to this. I'm not reading that. You can read if you want. I'll just scroll down slowly. Well, that wasn't that slow, but <laughs> pretty sure you can pause it if you want to read it, but I'm not going to read it because I'm just doing a quick demonstration of the game and I want to get into action so we can see with 60 FPS. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense. At all. Well, it does. You, you, you've recalled your memory. You've been bitten by a vampire. You've turned into a vampire. It's a nightmare. And you've killed it's... your sister. Now, you're going to try and free yourself. So be it. Bang. Rational thinking only. Do I have to press a button? Bang. Three guesses as to whether that worked or not. Vampire. See, I always thought that was vampire, but a load of people pronounce it as vampire. So I'm not sure. I still call it vampire because it isn't Y. Vampire. So I think it's just the old English way of spelling vampire. Oh well, it didn't work. I'm guessing the bullet wasn't silver. Or is that? That's werewolves, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose but the bullet wasn't made of wood because of a wooden stake. He did seem to shoot right through his heart, though. So that technically should have killed him, but unless a bullet went straight through. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. You've lost touch with what? The real? You mean reality? Here we go. Evolution, hideout, bed, light, evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric, vampiric skills. So for now, we can only get... Is it this one? Yeah, we've got plenty of experience for that. Which allows us to drain our own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. And we can't upgrade it yet. Oh, but we can get these. Which one do I normally get? I think it's Blood Spear. Let's grab a blood spear. There you go, and I think that's all we can get at the moment. 300 points, 300, 300. Yeah, I've only got 135 XP. So that's fine, let's just confirm that. Let's see if we can get into some action. We're 15 minutes in now. So I should be able to find some. If I'm not mad, then Oh, quarantine! We can all relate to that. One who made me what I am. I don't know if I am confront the vampire who created me. What I have become. Right, so let's see if we can find the vampire who created us. Where is it? Just close. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Oh shit, they found us. Tell you what, the game feels amazing at 60 FPS. This is one of the reasons why I didn't go back to play it to get the rest of the trophies. I, I wanted it to be the higher, uh, higher frame rate. Because 30 FPS is fine, but when playing on a PS5, I obviously want the highest possible. Uh, so I've got a stake now, which I can use by pressing triangle. There we go. So yeah, so I'm still in very glad that they've um, the updated this. Supposedly as well, uh, SnowRunner is getting a 60 FPS patch soon. So that's also by Focus Home. So it looks like Focus Home is going back and updating their past library. Right, so press triangle to stun people. Here we go. So stun. 
and then we can eat him. And then chop him up. Yeah, R1 is to be my vampiric skill. So we knock him out, we suck the blood. And then use R1 to fire blood. Well, let me suck his blood anymore. Like a child learning the limits of my body. Okay. Ow. <laughs> right, so suck his blood. Let's see if we can get another suck off him. There we go. And now we should be able to use the blood spear. My reflexes. Your reflexes aren't very good because I'm controlling you, mate. <laughs> and it's not it's not liking what I'm doing. Uh, so we're on Suffolk Bridge. Let's see if we can get past this bit. See, I recall them blood spears being pretty good, but it didn't seem to do very much for me just then. Uh, your king of country needs you. Join the British ranks and help raise the uh, lads at the front. My poor sister. What's this one? Your king country needs you. Join V and help. Your if only I had controlled my need for blood. Hey, you've just awoken me. You Mary, can't control it straight away. Someone will pay for what happened to you. Can we get through that? For what happened yeah. to us? Oh yeah, you can eat. Locked. You can eat the rats, can't you? If you walk over a rat. There we go. I have <laughs> thirst for blood. Doesn't matter whose blood you have a thirst for. You can eat the rats if you need to. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. You could control it before, couldn't you? Some more rats. Nom 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 nom. This nom, nom. Is despicable. What will London have to say to me? Uh, I think they'll say hello, Mr. Vampire. So many questions unanswered. Oh, this game running so well. And like I said, it's 1440p at 60fps now. So it's a shame they couldn't do up to a full 4K, but on the 4K TV, it doesn't look bad. It looks Another looks course. a lot better than it did previously, anyway. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? All the cutscenes are updated to 60fps as well, of the in-game ones. There hasn't been any pre-rendered cutscenes yet. I can't remember if this game actually has any. Uh. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I thought he was talking in his head, not actually talking out loud. <laughs> Anyone that I sees him will think he's mental. Trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Perhaps it will. Right, so vampire senses. Fresh makes blood. The blood show up red. Is so strong. Where has everyone gone? Um, they've gone up According here. Into the blood patterns. That's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Oh, there it is down there. This is a safe house, but I don't think we need to go in here yet. Oh, here we go. We're in the um, the inn. At last, a little life. Wee. Hello. Oh God, sir! You look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet this man. I have... Questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Okay. Um, you say no funny business to the guy who's 
wearing a white shirt covered in blood. You got bloodshot eyes and you got fangs. Okay. Oh yeah, and not to mention the bullet hole which has gone through my body. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be no funny business at all. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... I think some disease dropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Anyone. That's something I can do for you. <laughs> and who might you be? Your mum. No, there's no answer for that. Let's say, um, I don't know. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Oh. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In the fact, fuck? Killing them. <laughs> I don't remember Biting it being that. Like the calling card of a vampire. Like you. Uh, I am a victim. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Help me. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Yes. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh, I want to kill him. I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Okay. You're not going to help me then? Also, this guy's only been paid for a week to be here. Why? Is that a picture of him? No. Okay. I thought he'd brought like, his own little picture to, um, to put up in his room. Right, so we need to track Swansea the killer. Is not my attacker. It means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I just want to know the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came she gave in very tonight, easy, didn't she? Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. 
Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay. So, uh, we've got a hint. So, let's just... Um... So, as a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality uh, bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed off this citizen. Unlock hints to increase. Yeah, so basically, like I said, you can either not kill the innocent people and only kill the vampires and the vampire hunters. That way you get less experience. So the game becomes harder, but it's more satisfying to complete because you, you save the, the city rather than killing everyone. Or you can kill everyone and drink their blood and become stronger, but then everyone starts to hate you and you've obviously killed the city. So it's up to you, your moral choices as to what you want to do. And the more you talk to people and learn about their wants and needs and like cure their illnesses, the higher their blood count will be. So you get like better quality blood. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? Let's just see if he tells me about Will. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. I said, tell me about William. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. Okay, so now we can... I think we have to go this way, actually. Don't we have to go over this water? No? Okay. Um, let's go over here. So, like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this game. I'm guessing we have to follow the Y on the map. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? There we go. Oh, the body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. I didn't actually click on him. I was trying to jump across the um, thingy. Just What's pick up this? A note. Some sort of note. Can we not just quit? No. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Was well, another vampire, didn't it? This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. That's what I was trying to do. I meant to um, click on that. <laughs> right, so we've still got the attack. With... Oh, that's the thingy. So that's the attack. And that's the um, stake. It's annoying that run is circle. Over there! There's one of them! Yeah, I meant to um, take him out silently from behind, but I was running too fast, so it didn't let me do that. Uh, okay, I don't care about any of that. Let's just. I can't describe how much better the gameplay is now that it's 60 FPS. I know it's some people may think it's nothing, but it's so much smoother than the 30 FPS. Like 30 FPS is fine uh, when it's been done. 
properly like it was on this game, but so much better now. Let's just see if we can find this will. I think he's through here. If we can it's locked all right. Hmm. Can we go up? I think this is exactly where we were a minute ago. Uh, follow a blood trail. Right, so the blood trail's over there. of him. Alright, so the blood trail is over here. Okay, I've got a gun. But we need to get down there. How are we going to get down there? Oh, we have to go to the safe house first, don't we? Of course we do. Does it actually want me to use the bed? Okay, so let's, um, can we increase the healing? No. We've got 750, so let's increase our health. And the endurance, which I think is our, oh, it's our stamina. Okay. And then we'll just go to sleep for a day. And now we should be able to go and see William, I think. came back to life, which is great. I don't get it then. It says to follow the blood. Have I missed something? I'm supposed to look at you. No. It does show it going across this bridge, but oh, I was looking in the wrong bloody uh, warehouse. Fresh blood. Okay. <laughs> the whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. There's our two-handed weapon. Apps. Let's see if we can equip it. Um, how do we do this now then? There we go. So, if we do our second one as the two handed one. There we go. So now we can swap between them at will, I think. This place reeks of bloodshed. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Come on, William. My new two handed weapon. Oh, yeah. I forgot the stamina runs out pretty fast, and when you run out of stamina, you can't attack. It reminds me a lot of um, Surge in that version of like the Souls um, combat. You see, it's not that difficult. I don't know if they've made it easier. I know it's got the easy mode, but people had difficulty with this combat when it first came out. So I don't know if they've made adjustments on the normal mode as well.
William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return oh, to shit. my flock. They stray with Look out. Oh. Fair enough. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. So that was just a quick look at a Vampire, which now has a 1440p and 60 FPS mode if you're playing the game on a PlayStation 5. It's not a native PlayStation 5 app, so it's not a brand new trophy list. It's just a update patch, it's around 800 megabytes, which en automatically enables the 60 FPS. There's no, there's no toggle for it or anything. It just automatically plays at 60 FPS if you're playing the game on a PlayStation 5. Um, the game is great. Um, like I said, we have fully reviewed the game over on GamePit.co.uk. It is about two or three years old, that review, but it obviously still stands because the game is still the same. Uh, if you've not played the game before, it's a great game to play any time of the year, but especially during October at spooky time. Uh, but if you have any questions about the game or about the performance or anything like that let me know in the comments below and hopefully i'm going to be playing through the game again and um, just to get the other trophies that i didn't get the first time i played it and then i'll do a sort of mini uh, update review on the website just to let everyone know how the game performs and feels on the ps5 but other than that thanks for watching and i'll catch you in my next video